Hello, good morning viewers. Remember that I told you that we have five triple integrals that we are going to work on. We have already worked on the first two. Now in this tutorial, we are going to work on the second three. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Okay, the first one in this tutorial is number three, which we are given a triple integral of the function 2z e to the negative x squared dy dx dz all right here is it so let me mark where we're going to begin we're going to begin here so we have the integral from 0 to x of the function 2 z e to the negative x squared dy but the function entirely is a function of z and x and hence we are only going to multiply it by y. So this is equal to 2yz e to the negative x squared from 0 to x. We are only going to substitute the upper bound because substituting 0 will make everything 0. So wherever we see y, we are going to replace it with x. So this is equal to 2y meaning 2x z e to the negative x squared. So this is our new function, which we are now going to integrate with respect to x from 0 to 1. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 of the function 2x z e e to the negative x squared dx. Alright, the only function we are going to treat constant here is z. So let me bring it out. So this is equal to, I have 2 as a constant, I have z. The integral from 0 to 1 of x e to the negative x squared dx. Okay, now let us integrate this function using u substitution. Let u be equal to negative x squared. So that if you differentiate it, du will be equal to negative 2x dx. But in our main function, you can see we have x dx. So we can make x dx the subject here. We have x dx here, therefore x dx will be equal to negative du over 2. So now let us substitute everything back. This is equal to 2z outside. The integral of x dx is nothing but negative du over 2. Alright, all we have is e to the u because I have substituted negative x squared as u then multiply by negative du over 2. We can factor out negative 1 over 2 so that this becomes if you bring this out we have only negative z outside because that 2 will cancel the 2 integral of e to the u du. This is equal to negative z. If you integrate e to the u, you have e to the u. But remember that u is nothing but negative x squared. So this is equal to negative z e to the negative x squared. Our boundaries from, let me see, from 0 to 1. 0 to 1. So let's substitute everything here. This is equal to negative z multiply by uh, 1 squared is 1 multiply by negative is negative 1 then minus e to the 0 is still 1 so this is our new function and we are going to integrate this finally with respect to z from 1 to 4 So we have the integral from 1 to 4 of this function negative z e 
e to the negative 1 minus 1 dz. This is constant. I can bring it out. So this becomes negative e to the negative 1 minus 1. The integral from 1 to 4 of z dz. This is equal to negative e to the negative 1 plus 1. Multiply by the integral of z is um, 1 over 2 z squared from 1 to 4. So this is the same thing as negative e to the negative 1 plus 1. Let me substitute the boundary. We have 1 over 2. z is 4. 4 squared. The minus 1 over 2. z is 1 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to negative e to the negative 1 plus 1. Then multiply by 4 squared is 16. Then 16 divided by 2 is 8. Minus 1 squared is 1. Multiply by a half is 1 over 2. We are moving. This is equal to negative e to the negative 1 plus 1. Multiply by 2 times 8 is 16, then 16 minus 1 is 15. Therefore, we have 15 divided by 2. We can just expand. We have a negative 15 divided by 2 e to the negative 1, then plus 15 over 2. This is our final answer, but if you like, you can bring this down. And it becomes negative 15 divided by 2e plus 15 divided by 2. Therefore, if we take that triple integral, which is this, you're going to get negative 15 divided by 2e, then plus 15 divided by 2. So now let us take the number 4. All right, here is problem number 4. Our function is x cos y. We are going to begin with dz from 0 to 1 plus 3x. So this is what we need to integrate first. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 plus 3x. Our function x cos y dz. The entire function is for x and y. But we want to integrate with respect to z. All we have to do is to treat this as constant, multiply it by z. So this is equal to x z cos y from 0 to 1 plus 3x. So let us substitute the upper bound and neglect the lower bound because it is going to make everything 0. So our new function is, wherever we see z, we replace it with 1 plus 3x. So we have x multiplied by 1 plus 3x multiplied by cos y. This is equal to x plus 3x squared multiplied by cos y. This is our new function. And we are going to integrate this new function with respect to y, you can see it here, from 0 to pi over 2. From 0 to pi over 2, our function is x plus 3 x squared cos y. With respect to what? y. So we are going to integrate this with respect to y remember that this is going to be our constant if you integrate cos y you're going to obtain sine y so we have this is equal to x plus 3 x squared multiplied by sine y from 0 to pi over 2 we are going to substitute y equal to pi over 2 and 0, lower and upper bounds. But remember that sine pi over 2 is 1 and sine 0 
is 0. So this is equal to 1 and this is equal to 0. Therefore, we are going to avoid this and consider this. We take our function, multiply by 1. Therefore, we have x plus 3x squared. This is our new function. And we are going to integrate it with respect to x. Let me see, from negative 3 to 4. So our integral from negative 3 to 4 of this function x plus 3x squared dx. If you integrate x, you're going to obtain 1 over 2x squared plus. If you integrate 3x squared, you know the power will increase by 1. So it becomes x to the power of 3. And if you divide by 3, that 3 will cancel this 3. So all we have is x to the power of 3. Our boundary from negative 3 to 4. So let's substitute. This is equal to 1 over 2. We have x is 4 raised to the power of 2. Plus, we have x to the power of 3, which is 4 to the power of 3. Then we close this, we subtract again, 1 over 2, lower bound, negative 3 to the power of 2, plus negative 3 to the power of 3. Let's simplify. This is equal to 4 to the power of 2 is 16, 16 divided by 2 is 8, plus 4 to the power of 3 is 64 minus negative 3 squared is positive 9 multiplied by a half is going to make it 9 over 2. Then minus because the power here is odd, we have 3 to the power of 3 is 27. Uh, this is equal to 8 plus 64 is 72 minus we can take 2 and multiply by 27 and that will give us 54 then we say 9 minus 54 and that will give us negative 45 so we have negative 45 divided by 2 and because of this negative negative we have positive this is 72 plus 45 divide by 2 and we can now see 72 multiplied by 2 which is 144 then we add it to 45 and that will give us 189 so we have 189 divided by 2 and if you like you can reduce it to the mixed number which is 94 and a half so this is our final answer now let us take the last one. Uh, here is our last question. We have a function of sine y alone. We are going to start with dz from 0 to 1 over y. So we have the integral from 0 to 1 over y of the function sine y dz. If you integrate sine y with respect to z, all you have to do is to multiply sine y with z. So we have z sine y from 0 to 1 over y. Substitute z equal to 1 over y. This is equal to 1 over y sine y. Avoid the lower bound because it is going to make everything 0. So this is our new function. We are going to integrate it with respect to x from 0 2y over 2. So we have from 0 to y over 2 of this function 1 over y sine sine y with respect to x. So all you have to do is to multiply by x and this is equal to x multiplied by 1 over y multiplied by sine y from 0 to y over 2. Wherever we see x, we replace it with y over 2. And this is equal to y over 2 
then multiply by 1 over y, then multiply by sine y. You don't have to substitute the lower bound because it is going to make everything 0. From here, you can see if you multiply this 2, you're going to obtain 1 over 2. So this is equal to 1 over 2 sine y. And this is our new function which we have to integrate with respect to y, the last one, from 0 to pi over 2. So we have the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the function. We can bring out 1 over 2 outside. Then we have sine y inside with respect to y. All right. If you integrate sine y, you're going to obtain negative cos y. So this is equal to 1 over 2 negative cos y from 0 to pi over 2. All right. You know that cos pi over 2 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So this is 1 and this is 0. So we have 1 over 2 negative multiplied by 0 minus 1. And 0 minus 1 is still negative 1 multiplied by negative 1 over 2. This is equal to 1 over 2. Finally, our answer is 1 over 2. If you integrate this triple integral, of a function sine y with respect to z, x, and y, you're going to obtain 1 over 2. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.